Oh, hey, 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 guys, Mutemo, you're back again with another tutorial. So, guys, I know it's been like two weeks. I haven't uploaded, let's say two to three weeks, I haven't uploaded anything on my YouTube channel. It's because I've been really busy with editing photos for clients. And right now, I'm back with another tutorial. And today, I'll be editing this photo. You can see right now, we are in Lightroom. I haven't done anything on this photo. I actually shot it like this. Um, it's actually raw. I shot it um, with uh, my Nikon D750 uh, with a 35 millimeter lens. Um, F2.8, uh, shutter speed of 1 over 400 per second, and uh, 1 and ISO of 100. <coughs> okay. The first thing I'll do, uh, I shot this photo, so it's well lit, everything is okay, but I want to increase the uh, shadows a little bit to make the highlights pop more. So what I'll do, I'll come here and push the shadows up like that. And the next thing I'll do, of course, uh, I'll come here to the blacks and push them inside like that, and also the whites, push them inside like that. Uh, the white balance of this picture looks nice because I use the outer one in Lightroom to make the photo look nice. But let's say I I maybe made a mistake with the um, white balance or anything. I have these presets I've made over here to make my photo look just as how I want. So, but for now, I prefer to just... Uh, Let's just do the just small adjustments here and there to just make the photo look nice. Of course, I'll push the highlights inside like that to bring that uh, slight depth in the photo. And of course, I'll zoom in the picture, see the details. If the details are not popping more, I'll come here to clarity and then push the clarity up to, let's say, plus four. And then that's okay. The next thing I'll do, you can see I've already cropped the image to the... Uh, Instagram size which is um, 4 by 5 or 8 by 10 which is okay so then I'll say done then right click here then edit in Photoshop so I'm waiting for the Photoshop to just okay guys of course now we are here in Photoshop and uh, uh, what I'll do, of course, I love to clean this, clean this. So first thing I'll do, of course, I'll select that, pick my patch tool, then select this. Then go to edit, fill, then content aware. Then that's okay. That's okay. The next thing I'll do, first of all, I'll liquefy this image. You can see she has like this timing, which is like not balancing a shape well so what i'll do i'll um, invert the layer once then go to liquefy which is i mean this this doesn't like match the outfit doesn't mean she doesn't look good i mean it doesn't match the outfit so what i'll do i'll just push this inside just slightly not so much work just slightly and maybe here like that then like that slightly slightly then then i'll say okay you can see there's a very big difference and uh now it looks nice <sighs> anyway the next thing i'll do of course i'll now go to uh frequent separation uh the method i'll use for uh Retouching this image, I'll use the dust and scratches method because it's always nice to retouch for retouching full body or three quarter portrait. So, of course, I'll duplicate the layer twice. Then I'll rename this texture, name this color. Okay, the first thing I'll do, of course, I'll disable the texture layer, then go to the color, then go to filter, noise, dust and scratches. Of course, I'll have to check on the model's face where I guess the textures are too high. Then I guess push this, maybe five, six, six is okay. Then say okay. Then come here to texture, go to image, apply image. Then of course, select the, the color layer. 
then select subtract then say okay then change the blending mode to linear light create a black and white layer on top of this and make sure you just reduce the reds to see the eyelids in the shadows perfectly then of course come here and pick your mixer brush tool uh, wetness of 10 load 75 mix 90 and flow of 100 zoom in your image select the color layer then start brushing like that don't overdo it just slightly brush it as slightly as possible like that brush it as slightly as possible you can see the difference we're making on this image just brush it as lightly as possible like that of course now this area like this like that make sure like you shape the nose as just how you want it perfectly now come here this area like that continue brushing i'm trying to leave as many details as possible on this picture so i'm just like balancing the skin tone you can see this uh small blemishes here i remove immediately i'm done with the frequency separation so yeah you can see how we're doing to just make sure the picture comes out nice perfectly like that if you can see i'm trying if it's shadow i'm leaving it alone if it's a uh, highlights i'm leaving it alone trying to just make the picture look as nice as possible with the shadows and the highlights all inside all on the picture not inside all of them on the picture like that perfectly we're doing good yeah like that if i could just zoom out and put all this in a group you can see before after before after okay we're doing good so i come to this area right here just brush the highlight alone like that <laughs> then this area like this this other area like this You can see the before and after so i zoom in like this okay then maybe brush this area like this to just make it more uniform make sure you don't interfere with the outfit zoom just like that to just make it as uniform as well make sure you don't also remove this highlight right there and i guess that way we have a nice retouched image with frequency separation of course the next thing i'll do i'll go to 
uh, dodge and burn. Of course, I'll create the uh, fifth person gray layer. So, of course, uh, control, shift, and N to create this uh, dialog box. Then, of course, select soft light, fill in soft light neutral color, fifth person gray. Then say, okay, create a black and white layer on top of this, like that. Then, maybe zoom in your image. Come reduce the to flow to one, then just brush the highlights alone, like this. Just the highlights alone. Like that. Then make sure the foreground color is black, then brush this shadow right here like that. So this shadow right here like that. This other one like that, perfectly. And like that. Okay. So the next thing I'll do, of course, uh, select the texture layer. Then go to clone stamp. Pick your clone stamp tool. Then brush here and sample there. Brush here, sample like that. Sample and paste. I'm trying to just finish up the retouching within the shortest time possible. Okay, here you can see our photo already looks perfect. If I could just maybe reduce the flow of this, maybe reduce the opacity, something like that. And yeah, I guess the image already looks nice. So the next thing I'll do, uh, I'll duplicate the layer, then go to select, select subject. What I'll do, I'll create a layer mask here and then create a new layer there. Then go to gradient, pick uh, this, pick sample from your background, this, then sample from your background like that. Then draw it to something like that. So that, that. That will smoothen your background perfectly. Put all this in a group, then you reduce the opacity like that. And that's perfect. On top of that, go to selective color, then select blacks, push the, this slider inside and push this slider outside like that. Okay, perfect. Then go to reds, push the slider like this and then push this yellow slider like that. Go to yellows, push this slider like this and that's why push this like that. Okay, perfectly. That looks nice. That's a quick color grading we did on the image. Then, of course, I'll come here and then create a new layer of everything. So, Control Shift Alt and T to create a merge layer of everything. Then duplicate that. Then go to Camera Raw Filter. Zoom in your image. Pick your brush tool, and then make sure um, you increase the shadows like that. Yeah, like that, of course, then let's say you reduce the saturation, reduce the size of the brush, and then brush on the eyes, increase the shadows, increase the exposure, maybe something like that. Then it's not working, it's not working. Anyway, so uh, I come to my actions because I guess that didn't work. Eyes and teeth whitening. And then zoom in my picture then brush on the eyes like this and your picture will be fully retouched and color graded and that's just how fast you can retouch a photo in Photoshop maybe you doing it commercially uh, and not for like editorials and everything, just for your client. This is the best way you can retouch your images as fast as possible. But the secret is make sure you shoot clean images. When you shoot, the lighting is good, everything, you'll get a uh, easy image to edit. So that's all. See you in the next video.